What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 18. We finally got the matchup the world's been waiting for. We got Francis Ngannou. We got Dave Krutz. The two best heavyweights in the world. Let's do it. We had to turn down Daniel Cormier three times to get this fight. That man will just not retire. All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Obviously, he is the current real-life heavyweight champion. But he hasn't met the UFC 4 heavyweight champion. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? We're not going anywhere. As you can see, we're all Chicago now for this fight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Ngannou is 16 years the elder. He weighed in at 250 pounds. He will have a seven inch oh, reach man. advantage. Seven inches, right, now for the introductions, wow. here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out O2 Arena in London, England, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 20 wins, seven losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, presenting the challenger, Francis the Predator and God. That is one big man, and he's got a seven-inch reach advantage. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 17 wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. 
heavyweight champion of the world, the Executioner. Let's do it, Francis. All right, so for the championship, you can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? So here we go, number one versus number two to determine the baddest man on the planet. Round one is underway of this UFC Heavyweight Championship fight. It could be a quick night at the office. We shall finish liver shot wins. Dang, one shot just destroyed my ribs. That shot blocked by Francis Ngannou. Leg kick throw. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Nice hook lands. He loaded up there on that high kick. Three minutes now, round one. Big call for punch. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on the top of the play. Woo! Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that bit. Well, you know, I don't like the key very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Great punch. Under two minutes to go in the round. Oh, just a killer jab there from Francis Ngannou. I don't know about you fighting this guy, man. Aren't you coaching high school wrestling yeah, I'm instead? Yeah, I'm coaching Mustang. I ain't saying guy my say, I got a tournament this weekend. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Oh, effective use of the jab. Good round, say Francis. He was saved by the bell there. So, back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Nice loose punch. And Ghana's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Just, oh! Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the Ooh. biggest of stages. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic. Hey, that was a good fight, Francis. I mean, a competitive fight. That one at guy least you got me to the second the round. That ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish. 
but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 34 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the executioner. So the celebration is on and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue that tonight is the crowning achievement of his mixed martial arts career. Knocks out the number one contender with style points to retain his heavyweight title. Congratulations to champion, coach, team, family on the big result here tonight. Well, thank you, John. We appreciate it. Yeah, I'm getting obsessed with that two-touch spinning kick. So much fun. I was trying to get a knockout with it, but uh, I pretty much weakened him to the point where I could overhand him to death. Just doing what Francis would normally do to someone else. Beautiful. Beautiful. I to Avasa now? Come on, he's the only one I haven't beaten. Either that or I'm ready for a super fight. Let's go. Dude, this guy will not leave me alone. You're 47. This is the third time I've turned you down now. You don't deserve another shot. You know what? I'll give Stipe another shot. He deserves it. I think it's what the people want to see anyway. Hi to Ivasa, wherever you're at. Stop running from me. I want you next. But for now, steep A it is. See you guys in episode 19. I think we're doing about 21 episodes, so we're getting to the end there. See you guys.